I'm Virgo to your beginning of the month of December reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. As you can see, I've changed the table to Christmassy. I've got the snowman over here for winter and uh, got Archangel Gabriel over here on the table as well. So, very cool. And I hope you guys are enjoying the new intro. I got that up as well. Okay, friends. See what's going on with you. Getting straight into your energy. This is what you're thinking and feeling or the energy surrounding you for the beginning of the month. Reading for Virgo, please. Best reading for Virgo. Right there. Okay. I'd be feeling like someone is contradicting um, an outcome or a situation, or maybe just, you know, talking. <laughs> just talking in general. It's like every time you talk to me, you're contradicting yourself. Um, or you may feel like you're contradicting. I feel like it's someone else is contradicting you, though. Um, it's like they tell you one thing and then they turn around and say something else. And it's like, um, but you just said. Clarifying on the Seven of Wands, please. The seven of wands. This card's not only going to clarify on the seven of wands in reverse, but the entire reading. It's causing a tower moment, actually, um, because it's causing some disruption. It's very disrupting to have a person tell you you're going to do one thing and then turn around and say, no, we're not going to do that. And then you're going to say, you just said we're going to do that. And they're going to say, I never said that. That's what's going on. That's what it feels like. Might even be to the point for some of you where you feel like it's not just contradicting, it's also a part of manipulation. Because not only are they contradicting the situation, uh, you know, what they're saying, um, it's kind of like they're manipulating a whole situation. Um, you have the wisdom upside down in the present. And foundations and achievements upside down as well, so it's not a stable situation. <clears throat> whatever you're manifesting is not coming to light. In the past, you had passions ignited. In the near future, you have firm foundations again upside down. So it's definitely attacking the firm foundations of um, whether it's yourself or the relationship. Passions ignited in the past. This is something that you love, something you're passionate about. It could be a person. It could be anything. See what's going on. Clarify on the passions ignited. Clarify on the passions ignited, please, for Virgo. There we go. Determine to get to your passions ignited, to the things that you love the most, things that ignite the heart. Um, you were very dedicated. This is something you've been working on for a long time. Um, you might have even included someone into this um, for some of you or told somebody about this. But however it is, it's something you're very determined about and you've been working on it quite a long time or it's something from the past that you're working on that you finally decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this because this is what I really want to do. It could be writing a book for some of you, right? Maybe you decided to write a book. Maybe some of you decided to read a book. Maybe you've been holding on to a book for a long time and you're like, you know what? I've always wanted to read this book and I'm going to read it, right? Because I love this author. You know, it could be anything. Um, but however it is, you're very focused on it and very determined to do so. Um, and it is something that really ignites your heart. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing like um, horseback riding lessons. I don't know where that's coming from. Always wanted to learn how to ride a horse. I don't. Okay. So. For some of you, you've always loved horses and you wanted to ride a horse. 
And so you took horseback riding lessons. That one came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so whatever it is, you're focused on that. But in the meantime, while you're focusing on this, someone is contradicting everything you're doing right now. And it's almost like this past energy feels like it's, well, it's definitely going to be a rollover into this. But the thing that's tripping me out is I think you're still doing this. And it feels like somebody's asking you, why are you doing that? And uh, or maybe they said they will do it with you as well. Very interesting. So I'll just leave that there. You guys all know how it all fits together. It's your story. Um, however, we have the wisdom upside down. Whatever you're researching or doing, maybe your passions ignited was going back to school with the eight of pentacles. But it feels like it's more like a hobby or a job. Um, let's see. The learning process has you stuck. There's something that you're supposed to be knowing. Something that that's, could be about a Pisces. I have a Pisces here twice sitting next to each other. And you feel stuck within this area. Passions ignited for some of you, too, could have been determined to get back to an ex, someone from your past. Um, take it how it resonates, and you're very focused on them. Maybe that was them who ignited your passion. But there's something very contradictory going on, and I do believe it is with a Pisces uh, for a lot of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, but you're having a hard time getting to know this person, getting to... It's like you want to learn, but I can't learn about you. I can't learn about this. I feel stuck. It's like I'm not getting enough information about the situation. You're trying to keep strong over here in trying to understand the situation at hand, but it's like, yeah, it's like flatlined because see, you're stuck. So it's like, bzzz. So if you're trying to understand what a Pisces or a Leo is doing, um, or anybody at that moment, or the situation at hand, whatever it is, there is not either enough information, this person is not opening up to you, so it feels like the relationship or the situation it has flatlined. You can't move any further. There's not enough information. How do you feel with me? Now you have this contradiction over here. So for some of you, it could be even you trying to contradict the situation um, and you might just keep running into contradiction. Maybe if you're learning something that you're passionate, whatever you're passionate about, um, maybe it's giving you contradicting stories, right? It's saying one thing and then you turn around to another book and it says something else, something like this. If it's a person... I'm having a hard time understanding you. Um, I do see that they're very strong and you're very strong and courageous and really wanting and self-confident about wanting to do this. Um, and if it's a person, they're also strong. It's just that they, maybe they're telling you, you know, they're telling you one thing and then doing something else, no matter what. You might even see them as over strong, overconfident. Um, and it's kind of tripping you out a little bit because... Well, if you're so strong and so confident, why are you showing me weakness, contradiction, weakness? Um, wow. It's causing a disruption within your life, though, um, whatever the situation is, you guys. There's going to be so many different scenarios going on over here. You have the, you're trying to hold tight to understanding. And that's really what this is with the strength card over here next to the wisdom is the understanding. Trying to understand Either where this person is coming from, what this person is trying to say, um, if you're, like I said, doing your research paper and you're passionate about doing this or whatever it is, you're trying your hardest to understand what the heck am I learning over here, <laughs> right? It's like if you're in school and this was where you wanted to be because it's the career you wanted with the eight of pentacles and you have to write that paper, you're going to one book and it's saying one thing and then you're like, I don't know the date because it's contradicting itself. However it is. I feel for a lot of people, though, it is a person. 
um, from your past and you're having a hard time digging deep within them um, and it seems like maybe they're cocky maybe that's where the strength is coming from they're so cocky but then it's sometimes they're very passionate whoa because I got the strength sitting next to the six of cups the cups of the emotions so sometimes they're so emotional but yet they're so cocky I don't know they contradict their, their emotions all the time there are things that they say they show me strength then they show me weakness so hard so it makes you feel like are they deceiving me am I deceiving myself from not being able to get this done um, it's causing definitely a disruption I don't know what to believe over here is really what the five of swords is because you don't know if this is them just trying to play you um, if it's school it's like I feel like I'm deceived these books don't have the right dates <laughs> you know who are they playing over here um, whatever the situation is it feels like you're just going to have to put your sword down and walk away from this situation because you can't figure out what is really going on. So with the deception, the dis disruption over here, it makes you feel like you're so overwhelmed. You know what? Maybe I should just let it go. You know, what? I'm going to drop my sword and you can keep it. Um, I don't know what's going on, right? So foundations and achievements almost feels like whatever goal you were going after is not going to come true. Yes. And now you're feeling disappointed because it just feels like everything you've done is not working in your favor because there's just too much weakness, too much contradiction. Everything's in stalemate. I can't, I don't know what the truth is with the wisdom upside down and the five of swords. What is the truth? So it feels like you're going to separate yourself from this situation because you can't figure it out. Going straight into your, your Virgo mode, you're going to do some self-reflection and to try to figure out how you're going to become more stably firm um, and get back into your roots and what your self-belief is. And trying to also figure out what the wisdom really is. What is the real truth, right? What is the real truth? I'm going to go inside and try to you know, figure out what's really going on. I need some time out. The firm foundations over here, upside down. You're moving beautiful. <sighs> but you're not feeling like you're stable. It doesn't feel like your roots are planted. It feels like you might even have to, to leave the situation with the chariot. You know, there's other places I'm going to have to go. This is not suiting me well. Queen of Wands coming up. There's that Leo again. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of things that are going on around you. Um, and you're very frustrated Because this has kind of turned everything upside down now. Just going after one passionate thing kind of just messed everything up. There was so much involved. So much, you know, no truth. Um, making you feel blinded. Um, having to, you know, giving you a disruption. It was like all of this for this. Will of Fortune. Taking a new path and finding that, you know what, there's a change that's going to happen, um, yeah, with the Three of Pentacles. It could be that you felt like there's so much going on. We might have even felt like there's a third wheel situation going on, um, you know, and it could just be too many things. Um, I'm trying to do this, and they're here, and that's there, and there's just too much drama, too much of this stuff going on. Um, you know, and I just don't have time for that. So it's time for you to have some success and growth and getting back your firm foundation, putting yourself back to where you want. The passion's ignited, just, <laughs> it just did not turn out the way you wanted it to, Virgo. With the imprints over here, now it's like you're, you're going back towards where your prosperity begins. Um, and the imprints coming in. You may be even having a message coming in from your mother, your grandmother, or somebody who's a mother, um, kind of coaching you and telling you what things you should do and how to get yourself back um, on track, because um, it feels like you're off track. Um, and it feels like they're going to come in and kind of give you advice um, on what to do and how to, it's, it's good communication with the King of 
swords. It's going to give you some logical thinking. They're going to come in very logical, very loving and nurturing to help you out with the situation. It feels like you're really uprooted. This whole situation got you uprooted. You have the Eight of Swords. You're, they're going to help you get out of the realization of being stuck. They're going to make you have understanding of what the bigger picture is going on around you. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty much going to get rid of the disruption once you have the Eight of Once you get out of the Eight of Swords. Once you're not stuck anymore and you don't, you feel like you can move forward, um, then you can get your, yourself back planted where you need to be planted. Okay. So definitely having this situation is not working out in your favor, which really kind of sucks because it feels like here it was doing really well. And then over here, it just fell. It just tumbled. So now you're going to make new decisions and have new paths to go on, but you also have a wheel of fortune that's telling you it's time for change. It's time for you to put yourself back on the path you need to be on, um, okay? Someplace where you can get your passions ignited. This was not it. You, it feels like it, you wanted it so bad, but it just didn't, it didn't pan out. Yeah, and this is where the truth is going to come in, and it's like that wisdom going straight back up. So you're going to get the truth of the matter, um, but it looks like it's going to come in from either a Libra, could be a Taurus, could be an Aquarius, Gemini, um, could be anybody. I do see a lot of uh, earth energy over here, though, and air, of course. So, uh, but yeah, this is... This is where the truth is going to come in is when this other person has to intervene to um, help get you back um, on track. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. It could even be a job. Like you really wanted this job and it's just people around you are weak and contradicting. They say they're going to do one thing, then they don't do it. Oh my gosh, it could just be anything. But there is better opportunities out there for you. Um, once you get out into the two of wands and start looking again, and you start finding the truth and start getting yourself balanced, you'll be able to find better opportunities. But you're going to have to look for the signs of the times, right, for this. Um, the best scenario for you, you guys, wow. For the sign of the times with the huge opportunity is literally going to be a year from now. So whatever you're looking at right now, a year from now, you will definitely have that. So like next December for whatever this is, it's got to be something big, you guys. For I mean, for it to take a whole year. Maybe it's just love itself. I mean, maybe you have to wait until... You know, Mr. and Mrs. Wright comes in with the King of Swords, and maybe you're not going to meet them until a year from now, once you're done with your healing and you're done with everything you need to do. So, okay. And that was it for you, my friends. And until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.